Today, we're welcoming Google Meet on Android to the Logitech appliance family. Let's check it out. Okay, for those of you who are familiar with Google Meet in the conference room, you know that it's easy to use and that it provides users with a seamless experience all the way from booking to the meeting itself. And so now we're excited to bring you that same native Google Meet room in what we call appliance mode. So we're gonna show you how it's set up and what it does. Before we dive into the setup and demonstrate some of the features, let's just do a bit of education and level setting around appliance mode itself. Now, when we say Google Meet on Android or refer to an appliance-based room, what we mean is that we're utilizing the computer that's built into the rally bar itself. And so prior to this release, our native Google Meet rooms had a dedicated computer like this, Meet Compute System by CTL. But now we can utilize the computer that's built into the rally bar, a compute system that was specifically designed to facilitate the hosting of video conferencing. Okay, but why appliance-based devices? The first we just covered. Besides the television display, all you're gonna need is the rally bar and the tap IP meeting controller. Now, we're gonna do a demo in just a bit showing how easy and streamlined that setup is. But second benefit here is features. The operating system running on Logitech devices is called Collab OS. And whenever we release a new feature in collaboration with the team at Google, that update is gonna be immediately available to you whenever you're ready to update. And finally, let's talk a bit about management. We've already discussed above how the elimination of a dedicated compute box means less devices to manage. But in addition to that, you're also gonna get a number of advanced device management features through our platform called Logitech Sync. You're gonna have the ability to manage and control your update process. You're gonna be able to monitor device status, fine tune your device settings, perform scheduled rebooting, and get critical insights on how your devices and rooms are being used. So we've talked through just a few of the benefits of appliance-based rooms. Next, let's walk through the setup process here. So in this room, I'm outfitted with a rally bar and a tap IP meeting controller. And so we're gonna first connect a category cable to the tap IP, and then we're gonna connect the other end into our PoE jack on the wall. Next, we're gonna plug in the rally bar with the provided AC adapter. We're gonna connect the rally bar to the network with a category cable. And then finally, we're gonna connect the rally bar to the television display with this HDMI cable. That's it. Next on the tap device, you'll be guided through a number of simple steps declaring things like time zone, language, etc. Then after just a few screens, you'll wanna connect your tap IP to your rally bar via our Bluetooth connection that we call Logitech Relay. You'll then select Google Meet as your platform of choice. Okay, so we're gonna do all of that right now. Now you're seeing I'm being given a provisioning code here on the screen from Google. I'm just gonna to need to go into my Google Admin Console and then put this code from my device's display. Once that's done, the room is set up and you're all set to go. And so we've got our room here up and running and you can see that we have the same familiar setup that we're used to in a Google Meet room. Now we've got our meetings listed here on the tap. We're gonna join those meetings with a single touch, no laptop needed. And we're gonna use the tap meeting controller during our meetings to do all of our meeting controls. And so it's worth noting that this is just the beginning of our journey. We're excited to introduce Google Meet on Android, but there's gonna be lots more features to come, lots more videos to come, so stay tuned. We'll see you next time.